Hey y'all, what's up? Happy Saturday. My name is Nolly, and if you are new here, definitely hit that subscribe button down below. And if you're already subscribed, make sure your post notifications are on so you don't miss any of my videos. I kind of just wanted to pick up the vlog camera, update you guys on a couple things, um, and just vlog today because I feel like I haven't done it in a while. I've been kind of off my YouTube game um, because I had like a video gig and it just made me not want to edit anything for so long. And I don't know, I'm just like really out of it in that way, especially this weather like yesterday. No, it wasn't yesterday. It was the day before. It was so gloomy and cold and apparently it's supposed to snow two more times in Austin. I'm like, where do I even live? like it's not supposed to be snowing here it's crazy right now it's so cold and just gloomy every day and it just <laughs> makes me not want to do anything so i don't know how people up north do it but i'm just ready for the sun to come out and i'm pretty sure like next monday it's literally going to be 74 degrees which is crazy it's just like this little cold front passing by but it definitely affects my mood so much and my motivation and it sucks but i am very proud of myself because i've been doing 12 3 30 for almost three weeks tomorrow is going to be my third week of completing it and if you guys don't know what it is it's basically a treadmill routine and my favorite youtuber lauren Giraldo, actually made it i've been watching her since like vine so it's been so long and it's this tiktok viral trend but i knew about it like way before it blew up on tiktok um anyway so it's a treadmill routine it's 12 on the incline for 30 minutes and you walk at a three speed and it might sound easy or it might sound hard to you at first but like when you get on the treadmill for the first time and attempt it for the first time it is hard and you're gonna want to like hold on to the treadmill for the longest time and that's how i started honestly and like if you need to do that do it like seriously just get on the treadmill start and you're gonna progress and you know soon you're gonna like not want to touch the um, handles at all what I've been doing lately is using my Bala weights my wrist weights and I'll link down some dupes and the exact ones I have because um, I have the two pound ones and they are the most expensive out of the ball weights but they have one pound ones which are a little less I think they're around $50 now, honestly now is the time to invest in yourself so I feel like they're definitely worth the money I've gotten my use out of them but like I said I'll link um, dupes on Amazon that I found I'm feeling like today's a very rambly day I just like want to sit down and like update you guys on everything I like wrote down all the things that I want to tell you guys in this vlog so it might be like a long rambly vlog. Last night I ate a whole bowl of ramen and I thought I was going to feel like shit this morning. I didn't which I was so excited about because obviously I wanted to come to 12 3 30 because I've been doing it every single day. I just feel like the consistency is finally like showing me results. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I maybe lost a pound like not even but I can see results and I'm really pissed at myself because I didn't take my measurements like right before before I started but I do have them in my phone from like maybe like a couple months ago so I'll probably just use those because I mean it wasn't that off but I feel like if you guys want to start this definitely take your measurements and take before and after photos obviously but I feel like getting on a scale every single day is just not going to show you like what's really happening which sucks because I feel like that's my way of getting validation like when i was doing orange theory i loved looking at the scale which is kind of a little bit toxic but i liked seeing the progress so that's just like my way of seeing it but i realized with this treadmill routine the results aren't going to be there in two days and even with orange theory it was not like that so i'm trying to be patient and just stay with it and just stay consistent and honestly it's kind of become like a me time and 30 minutes out of your day is like nothing you know what i mean so i've just been really excited excited about getting to do it every single day and just seeing the results so that's my little update on 12 3 30 i'm gonna film a whole video i started like collecting footage and stuff but i kind of want to wait to see a little bit more results um before filming the video so i might do it at 30 days or a little longer we'll see um but i did officially quit orange theory i mean i haven't been there in so long but I finally canceled my membership. It's been on a pause and they've like waived the fees since um, the COVID thing, but I just did not want to work out in a mask and like obviously I'm pro mask and everything. But knowing me and how much I was like dying in Orange Theory and like breathing so heavily, I could not imagine wearing a mask over that. So I was like, mm -mm. and I think that was like, an excuse I had because I was just like not really feeling it like it was 20 minutes away 15 on a good day no 17 on a good day which is like annoying to have to drive to the gym so I feel like I just wasn't wanting to do that anymore and plus they changed it to was it a 45 minute class I think or a 30 minute class um 
but I don't know what it is now. Maybe they put it back to an hour, but I was just like, it's not the same anymore. Like I just don't want to do it, but it sucks because I got like such a good rate. I think I was paying like one 50 maybe or like 140 or something and now people are paying like 200 like or more for the unlimited so i know i had a really good rate that's why i was like holding on to it for a while because i didn't know if i was gonna want to do it again and i was just kind of like waiting for you know things to get better but it never did and luckily for this gym no one's ever in here and if they are i'll obviously put on a mask and like walking with a mask isn't as hard as like doing orange theory with the mask so it's not as bad um but seriously maybe two times out of like three weeks someone's been in here so it's not bad at all and i try to get it over in the morning so that no one is in here because at night obviously a lot of people work out so that is my health update if i think of anything else to share with you guys i'll obviously tell you guys today if you guys aren't following me on my instagram go ahead and do so i'm really really trying to be there on my stories a lot more and obviously just share updates like what I'm eating in a day and like health updates and all that stuff. So go ahead and follow me. It's at so underscore gnarly without the G. Right now I'm going to bundle up in my jacket and my scarf and bear the cold because I feel like I'm not as hot anymore because I finished my workout and now I'm just like chilling, you know. So I'm going to brave the freezing cold out there, go back to my apartment, shower off and get ready for the day. When I was walking back from the gym, it was colder than when I was like walking to the gym. I was freezing my butt off. So now I'm like scared to go outside, but we want to get some bagels. We're going to go to Rockstar Bagels. And I don't remember the last time I had a bagel, but it sounds so freaking good. I have a long sleeve under this. Going to wear my sweatsuit from Princess Polly. I feel like every influencer has this one. I'm obsessed with it. I actually wear it very, very often. So I'll link it down below. Um, hopefully my code still works. I think it's Sonali20 for 20% off, but... Go ahead and check it it might work but you can always find um random codes on the internet like for 20 percent off on princess polly i'm layered up because i do not want to feel miserable outside so i'm gonna wear another coat on top of this and then a scarf and probably beanie because i just cannot with the cold i got ready and did my hair i curled my hair today i used a wand that i haven't used in a while it's like a tapered wand that's a little bit smaller so perfect for short hair gives you like little ringlets but it was a little too curly so i'm trying to let it like fall <laughs> i realized that my apple watch was not even paired to my phone this whole entire time since i got a new iphone which was sometime in november so ryan was trying to pair my apple watch and he said that it was connected to my old phone which i erased all the contents on the old phone because i gave it to my mom to use and now apparently the solution is to erase all the like data on my apple watch which is so annoying because i really wanted to like pair it and see all the days that i like you know burned calories on the like month tracker thing Anyways, long story short, my Apple Watch is literally the first generation. I got it around Father's Day, I remember, because my dad took me into the Apple store around then. Um, and we are just big tech people, so we were like, okay, we're going to get an Apple Watch, and it's going to be so cool. And it was, and obviously I still use it every single day. But I think it's time for an upgrade, so I might have to stop by Best Buy today and see what they're all about. I don't really feel like I need an upgrade because I just use it to, like, count my calories but Ryan's been saying that I should start wearing it daily and like every single hour of the day so it can count my calories that way and then I can like count my calories eating wise and then be in a caloric deficit so I don't know I'll keep you updated Ryan just told me that <laughs> the bagel place is an hour and what it was it 70 minutes an hour, 70. an hour and 70 minute wait so never mind about the bagels we'll we'll try to find something else just as good I'm swallowed up in my bundles because as you guys saw everything's like frozen out here so many trees have like icicles weighing them down and they look so weird and on all these storefronts they have like little icicles hanging on the overhangs and it literally looks fake like it looks like a christmas decoration it's so weird but thank god it hasn't really rained in the past day so the roads aren't as bad but I think two days ago I heard about like the Dallas Fort Worth pile up the car pile up on the highway and it put me in the weirdest mood like I felt so gross and like icky and just sad car crashes terrify me luckily I have never been in one when I was driving so thank god knock on wood um but I cannot even imagine because in Roswell actually I think I hydroplaned 
maybe once or twice but we are actually gonna get starbucks because the bagel place just had a really long wait and i think we're gonna go to best buy and check out the apple watches but i need some food in me because it's almost i want to say like oh yeah it's 12 30 and i still have not eaten and i'm really getting hangry so we're gonna get some starbucks and then also we're gonna go to h mart because tomorrow's valentine's day and i bought a sushi making kit and it's just been chilling in our house for a while now and i'm just like okay valentine's night we are gonna make sushi. So we're gonna go to H Mart, it's this Asian market, and we're gonna get some fresh raw fish, some seaweed paper things, we need some sushi rice, um, probably some like vegetables and like just toppings for the sushi, but I'm really, really excited about it. Thank you. This man who was like, Rin, Rin. Um, <laughs> Rin? And, and she spelled my name, it may be Ryan, I don't know. <laughs> Salty cold foam, always. I'm fed, I'm happy, and now it is time to go into Best Buy and see if I should buy a new Apple Watch. The current one is so disgusting. And he literally crusty. just, you know, <laughs> it really is so actually nasty. crusty, but um, he literally just compared it to a flip phone, so that makes me really. You think press I the need button it. and like a like, little color wheel comes on, and makes you wait to <laughs> use anything, and like. It's not connected to her phone, so you don't even get text or anything, right? Yeah, I also was just telling him that it's really small that I can literally always miss the running guy, and that's the only thing I use it for because I'm like on walking on the treadmill and I'm trying to like freaking tap the green running man, and it just never taps. So I want to get a bigger face for sure. Um, you can't get us. That's the smallest I ever made. Oh, really? No, don't make that anymore. Well, good, because why the heck did I get that size? Because they, like, at first they were saying, like, that the bigger one was, like, manly, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's why I got the little one, but, yeah. You also, like, have, like, borders. Got rid of now, like, the... The borders? Like... Oh. The, um, <laughs> yeah, like, it goes edge to edge now. Like, oh. you used to have, like, a little, like... Black border. Yeah. Of the 44 millimeters, though, I can see it though. So unfortunately, they are sold out of the bigger ones and the gold ones. So I'm gonna just buy it online and have it shipped to me. I think it's gonna get here like next Tuesday, which is not bad at all. Cause it's I'm not like really in a rush. If it was a new iPhone, I'd be like, dang it, like I wanted it today. But no worries, I'll order online. So now we can look around in Best Buy. I feel like Ryan and I love looking around at all the tech stuff. Gonna check out the Sony Alpha stand over there in my camera. Check out all the lenses, even though I don't really need a new lens, but... It's like Bane, kind of. What? It's like Bane, this big ass, like, oh. thing in your shoulders. I want to come and dream about my future life and a big fridge. Like, I feel like I love our apartment, but the fridge in it is literally like a high school locker. It's so small, especially like the freezer side. It's so annoying because when we go to Trader Joe's, we can't get all the good frozen foods because we don't have anywhere to store it because it's so small. So I love like looking at big fridges. I just like to dream about having all this freaking space to store food that will honestly probably go bad. But I'm trying to be better about that this year and like actually eating the fruits and vegetables that I have. So, you know. It's a process, for sure. You said like three freezers. What's that? Damn. Uh, yeah, that's like a lot more than... Yeah, what the heck? It says craft ice. Wouldn't that be cool to like see it though? See into your fridge? I'm like a smart fridge. <laughs> you see? Oh, that's cool. Oh, interesting. Ryan keeps measuring all the fridges by saying if you could fit a pizza box in there. This one checks out. Okay, so this fridge tells you what exactly you have in your freaking fridge. Like it literally detects that it's a tomato or salad or onions. That's freaking crazy. Technology is crazy these days. Uh, I do a list. That's do a awesome. List. You can like add it to your uh, list grocery list what's fun you can play games on your fridge like i think that's so weird oh music, TV mirror. Interesting. Mirror, the Samsung TV or phone. we found the winner it says additional storage for pizza boxes underneath but guess how much it is close it <laughs> show it ten thousand dollars oh yeah that much a month? yeah that's freaking crazy 
We're going into H Mart. Gonna get some sushi supplies. Salmon, tuna, tilapia. Yeah, I don't know. Some of the things just did not seem the best. Like the avocados were rock hard. We need some for tomorrow and then we need lemons and they didn't look so great. So we're gonna run into Target also because I need to get a new batch of my freaking favorite cookies. We literally went to three different grocery stores because at first the lemons weren't looking great at H Mart. So I was like, okay, let's go to Target because I thought Target had the Sweet Lorenz cookies, but they didn't. But I got lemons and limes from Target and then tempura shrimp at Target because H Mart only had like a huge pack of them and it was kind of more expensive. So got it at Target and then I was like, what the heck, where are the avocados? And of course the avocados were gone from Target. So we had to go to Whole Foods and get some avocados and the cookies because I remembered I got the cookies at Whole Foods last time. And these are what they look like. Um, they're so good for all my dairy-free, gluten-free, let's see, okay, gluten-free, dairy-free, plant-based, and nut-free. These are so freaking good. Apparently they have a brownie flavor too, but I have only ever tried the chocolate chip one and Ryan really likes them too. They don't make my tummy hurt, which is so nice. I'm lactose intolerant, so every time I would eat cookies, obviously they made my tummy hurt. And then I just got some perfect avocados for tomorrow's sushi night. Um, and honestly, Whole Foods is elite because they put all of the really ripe ones out in the front. Like I'll put a picture right here. I took a picture because I needed to show Ryan this. Like this is what you pay for when you shop at Whole Foods. It was amazing. And then we got random things at um, H Mart for the sushi stuff. It was a madhouse in H Mart, but obviously it's the day before Valentine's Day and especially, you know, this year, not as many people are going out to eat, especially with the weather right now, it is freezing. Like you guys saw all like the snowy trees and everything. And even a lot of cars had like icicles hanging off of them. One like ramp was even closed because of the ice. And so I was like really nervous about us driving. It's 522 and I've actually just been creating TikToks. Um, sounds so stupid when I say it, but I feel like this is like the fastest growing social media platform. So I've definitely said it before, but if you're not on TikTok, get on it. I know it's easier said than done. Trust me, I get it. It looks so easy to make a TikTok, but sometimes you spend like an hour doing one and it's actually so crazy. But the good thing about it is, is that you can grow so easily on this platform because of the explore page or the for you page. I downloaded TikTok during like quarantine. So last March, let's say, and I have like 17,000 followers on TikTok now because a couple of my uh, TikToks went viral, like all my hair ones. And I gained so many freaking followers. My views are kind of low right now because I'm not being as consistent as I once was, which is so annoying because those followers can easily transfer if like you're really consistent with it. So I'm trying to get back into it and also just posting the TikToks that I made onto Reels. I wanna show you guys this thing that I learned. I'm gonna put down the camera somewhere cause this hack will literally save your butt, especially for the Instagram algorithm. People are recommending that you post whatever TikTok you create onto your Instagram Reels because you never know if it could do better. So I've been starting to do that and this is the way I used to save the video. So I would go to the TikTok, I would hit the three dots then go all the way over here and press live photo and it would save. Then you would go to your photo app and hit like the share button icon thing and then go all the way down and save it as a video. And that is how you used to be able to save the video on your phone, but there is a little TikTok watermark on it and it just came out that Instagram like can tell when there's a freaking watermark on your video and they're like not letting those videos do well. So I have another solution for you guys that I just learned and this sucks because you can't really use this when you have already posted a TikTok, but this is good to know for future reference when you are making your TikToks. So this is the new way on how to save your TikToks without the watermarks. I'm in my drafts, I'm gonna pick a video. I'm going to hit this little icon at the top and then I'm going to screen record this. 
that's literally it you just screen record it and you can go into the photos app and obviously it might have like a little extra bit of it replaying or like you know the part where you're actually touching the icon so you're gonna have to like trim it in your photo app but that is how you save your TikTok without a watermark. And I know it sucks because I have so many TikToks that are already posted and I can't do that. So that is just something to think about, especially right before you post. I've already like posted a few today that I forgot to screen record. So it's kind of annoying to remember, but at least it's an option. So I'm gonna create a TikTok about my three favorite shoe styles that I have been wearing the most lately. One are my Choco Chillos. Might as well just post like some pictures over here. One are my Choco Chillos. I, I don't know how you say it, but they are so comfortable. They're kind of like Birkenstocks, but they're more foamy and just like the perfect like slide on shoe. They are white and they come in all sorts of colors, but I like my white ones and I kind of want to purchase a new pair because they feel like they're getting dirty, but honestly, I could probably throw them in the wash. I actually just did that with my Air Force Ones, which is actually also one of my top three favorite shoes or most worn shoes. I feel like these are really basic, but they are such a good basic to have in your closet. These are hands down my most worn shoes. You can dress them up, you can dress them down. You look so cool wearing them, honestly, and I really wanna find a pair of like white sneakers that aren't so basic, so I'm gonna keep an eye out for that and I'll let you guys know what I find. The third pair of shoes that I wear so often are my Knowles heels from Dolce Vita. I have them in the nude color with the clear strap and then I also have them in the black color. I actually think I wear the nude more often just because I feel like I don't really wear black as much now but I love having the option to pick from each color. I'll link all the shoes down below and I'm gonna get back to making this TikTok. Good morning y'all. Happy Valentine's Day. It is Sunday and we are gonna start off the day by making pancakes. Actually we already worked out. I dragged Ryan to the gym with me. Um, it is like snowing, Leading icy outside today. It is actually crazy like the weather right now in Austin. We went to the gym I almost fell on my ass, but I didn't so that's good. But now we're showered. I'm ready for the day I thought I would just put on makeup because you know, I just kind of wanted to and we're gonna make pancakes So let's do it Got a new freaking KitchenAid bowl I had the white one that no the tin one that comes with like the KitchenAid, but I asked for this for Christmas. This was one of my Christmas gifts and it literally just came, what, two, two weeks ago or something? So it's our first time using this mixing bowl with, honestly, I don't think we really needed to use this for like pancake mix. We could just mix it with our uh, spoon, <coughs> but, what? We're smart enough. True. Okay, let's get started. Nice, huh? Very fun. Kind of took a while. In, three one at a time, shouldn't Yeah. What do you think about my always pan? Very nice. He not, approves. Not <laughs> we just got done with breakfast and I'm actually watching like all of these travel vlogs from this one YouTube account. I want to say it's called Endless Adventures, but I'm just like really in the mood to watch just tropical vacation vlogs right now. Today I feel like doing a lot of just like random little projects. I wanna like do some nail art on my nails and I also want to dry these blood oranges. So let me show you guys. I found these blood oranges at H Mart and I wanted to make little garnishes for any cocktails or anything like that. So I cut them really thin, or at least I tried to. It's pretty thick actually. I probably should have cut it thinner, but honestly they were breaking, so I tried to cut it like a little bit thicker, but I'm gonna put these in the oven at 200 for like three hours or something, let them dry out, and hopefully they turn out really cute. I'm currently watching a vlog about cruises now, and I've only ever been on a Royal Caribbean for my senior spring break, but apparently Ryan's been on a couple. I know it sounds gross to some people, but like, it just looks so fun right now and I'm just really excited for the day I can travel again. But anyways, I am gonna try to attempt some cool nail art. I already have my nails painted. I think I painted them like two days ago and I used my static nail colors. Um, I did like Dome Idea or something, is that what it's called? Let's see, it's this nude, Dome Idea. Super cute. And I'm gonna attempt to do those like squiggly lines. And I think I talked about this in my other vlog, but I have this um, nail tool kit from Amazon and it comes with like a bunch of brushes and like those like dot, dot 
tool things. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna attempt to do them. Wish me luck because I don't wanna like mess up my new nails. They look pretty good, but I also wanna try this and I feel like I always like just get scared to try it, but today is the day that I'm gonna attempt it. So we're gonna start on like one nail and like if it doesn't go so well, we'll just leave it as an accent nail and not do the others, but hopefully it goes well and we can do this. I am obsessed with this top coat from Static Nail. I don't know if you can see because I can't really see the camera screen, but I just wanted to show you. So this um, nail polish obviously looks really bumpy. This top coat is magic and it will literally just blend everything and make it so beautiful and smooth. There you go. Looks so good. Freaking did it y'all. Look at this nail art. Pretty damn proud of myself. It kind of looks like a little messy up close, but for the most part, it's pretty dang good if I say so myself. Love it. Now I told Ryan that I had a surprise for him and I told him that I was gonna set up some putt putts because he got a new cool putter or whatever, right Ryan? So we're gonna do a little makeshift putt putt in our apartment. You have to hit this bottle and then bounce it into that thing over there. You're totally gonna get this. <gasps> Ryan, good job! I'm wearing my ugly comfy pants today, so just don't, don't make fun. <laughs> ah! So Yay! I won the Reese's Cup. <laughs> yes. But I didn't do too bad, huh? Mm -hmm. My dehydrated fruit is ready, so let's see what it looks like. All right, so now I have to let it dry even more, but they look so pretty. Coming live from the couch. I'm editing a vlog because this vlog literally was filmed like a hundred weeks ago and I lost all the motivation to post it, but today's the day I'm posting it. So I'm getting it up for you guys. It's snowing pretty hard outside and I started on our appetizer, which is some of this Wagyu steak and Came out pretty nice, tastes really good. I already tried it. But I also made a Negroni. Budget Negroni, it's pretty good. Can I peel the orange peel thing? Yeah. For my blood oranges. It made it, made it so much better. Huh? It made it so much better. I got these cups probably like almost two years ago and I'm finally using them because I have ginger beer and I just got um, raspberry raspberry syrup the other day from Specs, And so we're gonna make a little Moscow meal. I mean, it's already made. I just did raspberry and then I got lemon bitters. I literally don't know what bitters are, but we're gonna find out today. And then we have this little ice cube tray and it makes balls of ice, so. Putting that in. There we go. Okay. Definitely needs to be like more cold, but yeah, it's actually really good. Raspberry Moscow Mule. That syrup is delicious. This is so good. This is so good. Oh my god, this is so good. It's like a raspberry snow cone. <laughs> Yummy. I had this at the beach house because it was like just there. I stole it because I was like, I love ginger beer. And I found it in specs so good cheers i totally forgot to add my cute little dehydrated fruits to my cocktail how cute so i actually got this sushi making kit on amazon i don't know what this stuff is this is like a sushi cutter thing saran wrap around it and then you don't have to clean it which is nice mm -hmm. oh, that's cute <laughs> Oh, that's for your chopsticks. I think we're gonna do a sushi rice on the outside. For our first roll, we're gonna do a shrimp tempura. We'll save that for the next one, maybe. We can make two. Some avocado. Ooh, can you get a uh, cream cheese? Mm -hmm. I already have a good feeling about this, right? Doing some cream cheese. I got the spreadable one, so it'd be easier to like 
put in here. We do a little bit of scallions, a drizzle of scallions up in here. All right, we're gonna do some tuna in here, not that much. And then we're gonna do some salmon on top. The sushi thing came with a knife that apparently is really sharp, so we're going to use that. Time to sprinkle some masago on top. Was that too much? <laughs> uh, we started the big day on Netflix. It's a series about just like Indian weddings and it's so interesting. My mom told me to watch it. It's all really extravagant. Honestly, I don't think I could ever do this, but you know, I guess never say never because who knows, but I definitely want to have like some kind of like Indian fusion wedding when that time comes. We had to save some space for some cookies. I'm obsessed with those sweet Lorraine cookies that we got yesterday, so um, we are going to make those soon. But the sushi was really good. What do you think, Rai? Was it good? Yeah. Like, I'm really kind of shocked. Grade. Yeah, like honestly, like restaurant grade or even like higher than some. I'm not sure if I said this already, but I'll link the sushi kit down below in case you guys want to get it because it's just so fun and it's just like a really good date night idea. And if you have an H Mart, like an Asian grocery store or some kind of thing, you can get sushi grade tuna or salmon. I would definitely do it again. It was a lot of preparation though. The sushi rice was so good. At first, like we thought the mixture that we made to pour over the rice to make it like sticky and like sweet, I guess. <laughs> it literally smelled like feet after it was like all mixed and everything. It was like perfect. It was so good. So I don't know, highly recommend doing a little sushi date night. Honestly, it doesn't even have to be a date night. Like you can do it alone or with your friends, but it was really fun. Ending Valentine's Day with the best cookies. Mm -hmm. Happy Valentine's Day. She'll be so <laughs> sad if she's not getting any cookies. Happy Valentine's Day. I wanted to quickly throw in this message. If you guys didn't know, I do live in Austin, Texas, and we're currently in a crazy winter storm right now, and things are literally insane here. Um, people don't have power, people don't have water. I luckily have my power, and I actually did have water, but they just shut it off today because apparently there are already leaks and they don't want anything to get damaged. Um, and some of my friends are staying in a hotel because they didn't have power or water, and I'm so thankful that they like, did that because apparently they're like all booked up now honestly I've just been having the biggest pit in my stomach about all this because the first night I heard about like the 100 car pileup I think it was in Fort Worth Texas and it was just like really terrifying to hear about because I don't know car crashes are like so scary to me and then all the stuff about people's apartments getting ruined by like pipes bursting and people like freezing in their houses and the carbon monoxide poisoning i'm really 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 lucky that i have um what i have right now um so we filled the tubs with water to wash our hands and like flush the toilets anyways really quickly i did want to say that i'm going to be putting a gofundme and like a venmo account down below if you guys are able to help and donate to um the austin relief fund for this winter storm i'm really hoping this nightmare is over soon if you're from texas let me know what your experience is i'm just curious to see if you know you have water or um electricity this is what the outside looks like right now this is freaking crazy because it does not snow here in Texas, I don't think. It's just crazy. It already snowed once this year, and this is the second time, so the trees are like all iced over. The snow was melting yesterday, but now, I think last night, there was a wintry mix, so now it's all ice again. Honestly, at first I didn't feel right about uploading this video, but then I just needed something to take my mind off everything. I know the whole state of Texas and anyone going through these winter storms would appreciate any prayers and just good vibes sent our way. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.